Look, to summarise everything, I guess, people, people in Australia generally and are misinformed. They all think, let's go over to LA for pilot season and I'll get discovered. Well, if you've got a lot of money to waste, do it. If you don't have a lot of money to waste, don't do it because you're wasting your time. If you don't have US representation of some kind, you're wasting your time. You may have Australian connections that are well connected over there with production companies, casting directors, etc. In that case, stay here. You'll get the gigs here. The day of self-tapes is well and truly here. You don't need to go anywhere. You don't need to waste your money. Not only that, um, if you go over there, you will discover a whole bunch of things. In There is no time for casting directors to see you if you don't have a visa. Now, everyone talks about an O-1, which is a work visa in the US. An O-1 is useful, but only partially useful. There are some major companies that do not accept O-1s. ABC, NBC, and a few others will not accept an O-1. And yet an O-1 is a work visa that others will accept. Very few people know that. Everyone strives to get an O-1, but you have to have a track record for an O-1. The thing that really works is a green card. A green card is essentially a petition to emigrate to the United States. You have to spend about six months of the year there for a green card, but you also have to have a track record. You have to have something behind you. In other words, when they look at your CV, they go, oh, what have you done? Bunch of short films. You will not qualify for a green card. You won't qualify for an O-1. There are a few dodgy organizations over there, predominantly out of Florida and Miami, that put together O-1s. Silly people pay four and a half to seven thousand dollars, somewhere in that vein, to do these things. And they get an O-1 and then suddenly they find, yeah, but I still can't get in through the door. You may have a work permit, but you've got no one who's going to represent you. There's no management structure over there that's going to look after you. If you don't have a strong enough agent here, ditto, you're lost. The problem is that we take notice of the very few people who succeed by luck. They are in there at the right place at the right time. And they're the ones that your TV weeks and everybody else writes about. And everybody thinks, oh, it's that easy. Trust me, it ain't. It's not that easy. It is, in fact, very, very difficult. We just had uh, Kanika Sui from um, a company here representing, and she was looking around um, looking for people to represent. Because look, I've got to tell you, nevertheless, Australians are the flavor of the month. It doesn't matter whether you're a writer, director, or an actor, they love you, they want to see you. They want you there. Um, and if they think you're any good, they'll bend over backwards to keep you there. Um, Kanika picked up five people in Australia while she was here. And can I say with great pride that four out of those five were Taftas. <laughs> Um, a, girl, a girl from Perth, a 20-week graduate from Sydney, a 20-week graduate who's also currently in Neighbours in Melbourne, and one of teenage boys uh, in Melbourne. So, but she also stressed continually, don't do it without the real thing. Our 10-week our course over there, the LA Experience, is not an acting course. Now, when I say that, that's really a lie. It is an acting course. But at the same time, it's also a course in teaching you how to understand, how to get around, how to get by, and how to get career started in Los Angeles. You will meet lawyers. You will meet Gary Marsh, Breakdown Services. You will meet a whole bunch of people that are going to be helpful to you should you then decide, I'm going to go over there and have a crack. And let me tell you, there's nothing wrong with going over there and having a crack. But just, please, do it the right way. Do, unless, as I say, you've got a lot of time and money to waste. Do you know something? Money is almost irrelevant because you can always get more money. But what you can't get is that time back. Yep. Ever. So it sounds like 10 weeks getting to know the ground is...